Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing an updated toolbox tour on my Snap-on KRL 7022. I'm also going to be giving you guys a little tour on the side part as well. Um, you know, I promised myself I wouldn't say um so many times this time, so I will try to keep that to a minimum. Although I can't make any promises. Also, I'm going to keep this tour shorter than the other one because I realized it was like over 30 minutes long and geez I, I didn't expect it to run that that long so let's start over here I think on the last tour I, I had razors here so I have razors I still have them there I still have my uh, easy red memory saver oh, this is a new guy this is the uh, snap on hand sanitizer dispenser it's kind of rad um, I don't know if I can take it off here, but it's hooked on to the, the back using this uh, hook adapter thingy that they have for it. I'm not sure what the part number is. You guys are going to have to check it uh, online or your local franchisee. My OEM glove dispenser thingy. This is just a Walmart tape measure but it kind of stays where it's at so I kind of like that. Uh, I still have the uh, battery uh, charger thingy for stuff like that. This uh, Aunt's 5.0 Bluetooth speaker is really cool. It's on Amazon. It's like 30 bucks. You get really good bass out of that thing. Yeah it's pretty cool. These are like headphones but they're like inductors so you put them in front of your ear and it like kind of it's kind of cool how that works it feels a little weird at first but you get used to it i still have my max me but i did end up getting a new dongle because i left the old one at a customer's car and they never came back first and last customer pocket screwdrivers you always got to have those so i only have one <laughs> um this guy's a lyle uh wiring solder holder I guess like I'm not sure you can use it to solder this is this was pretty cool so we ended up uh, my wife and I uh, getting a van and the van came with this thing I thought it was pretty cool it's, it's a pointed end half inch drive there's like there's like 17 teeth in this thing and I thought it looked old but then I looked it up online and apparently you can still buy these so Maybe I'll put the link down below and I don't know. Favorite gum. Got some nuts on keto. So that's what that's about. Go to fluid stuff. It's just to grab, use them. Face wipes. I I care about my face, so I clean it when I leave. I don't I, I don't use this thing I mean uh, I got a spare battery but you know the little flashlight that came in a bundle you got the uh, quarter inch driver and a 3 8 gun with it and I don't know I don't like it I do like that guy though this is the big this is the big brother this is part number uh, well I'm not sure you guys can look that up but it's the the biggest one they have it's like 150 it's a type C connector you got a light there, yep. you got your light on the inside, you got a flashlight up there, pretty handy. Magnetic bottom, although my cushion fell off. The S is also magnetic, if you guys didn't know, now you know. Eh? Huh? Eh. Maco USB light. Infrared thermometer from Harbor Freight. Does it work? I guess. My charging station. I have documents here. Oh, this is from that dongle. I gotta call them in the morning. Just my stuff that I keep in my pocket. I just leave here. Always keep track of your hours. Really important, especially in a flat rate. Especially this year during COVID because it really, really sucks. I'm gonna show you guys a side locker now. So here it is. This is the US General 16 inch that I sprayed black uh, that I made a video on. And I got copywritten because I posted a Post Malone song. But, uh, so it looks really cool. 
to me, I mean, because like it, it's almost really flush down there at the bottom, but then it's like really wonky up here. And then like, if you look at it from the side, <laughs> yeah, so, but I utilize the back to put my uh, magnetic strip. That's the cobalt magnetic strip thing. I'm not sure if they even sell that anymore. I got it over two years ago. And really, I just keep fluids here. I know where everything goes though, you know? Trans diff, power steering brakes, I got cleaning stuff up here, lube stuff in there, oils, another cleaner. Th this is what I use to clean the, the actual toolbox itself. Snap-on sells this rebranded. Like you can find it on Amazon. It's kind of expensive. It's like 13 bucks. Uh, there I go again. And then down here I have spare parts. Mostly just gaskets and spark plugs, bolts, nuts. Here I have uh, extra bearings. That, these come in handy if you want to press out old bearings and if you don't have the adapter kit. I don't. Not yet. Some napkins up here. The magnetic cozy that everyone got for free. First drawer. Nothing's really changed besides the out. Oh, there. I didn't even clean it. Well, I did clean it, but it got dirty again. Besides the layout, I haven't really changed anything else. Everyone's Everyone has a piece. I do too. Right there. Watch out. Sockets. Axle sockets. Harbor Freight. I guess this guy is new from the last tour. This is the snap on 14 millimeter. This is the snap on 14 millimeter snap on spark plug socket. The magnetic end. The new direct injection spark plugs here in Honda. This is the regular magnetic 5.8. Uh, I think this is a, yeah, door lock. Yeah, I found it actually in the van. Found this guy in the van too, the extended O2 sensor. Comes really, comes in really handy when we're doing fits and HRVs. I still have triple squares. I still have these triple squares that I don't use. These are new. These are the uh, tap sockets. Yeah, tap sockets. So those are. I think they're Lyle as well. Uh, turbo sockets, blue point turbo sockets. Bliss flip socket. I haven't used it here. Although some guys have used them here. Aftermarket wheels. I'd lend them a hand. Just spare sockets, really. That's all I got. Wheel stud installer kit. Yeah. Spare quarter inch sockets. Tech angle. Snap on. This is a 3 8. More charge rechargeable batteries. Go hook them up to that guy. Here's your half inch. I've had I keep the batteries in on this one because I'm always using it. Nothing's changed here besides an extra 3.8. So oh, this is a stubby Duralast. I think 72 teeth. So nothing new in terms of ratchets. But I did put all my sockets at the at the back of the of the drawer to keep the weight more centered. So this rack is the monster rack, uh, socket rack that I won. One of the last recipients for Justin Dow's famous poker nights, I beat out Harley Adams. And he was such a sore loser, that guy. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it was fun back then, this YouTube stuff. But I utilized it. I told him I would make a video, and I never did. And two years later, sorry I'm late, but it's here, and I'm still using it. So thank you, Justin. Uh, besides that, I got spare sockets there as well. This is a, the broken. So I broke. This is the gear wrench, uh, quarter inch bobble sockets. Now I've 
lost the 10 millimeters, so I replaced that with the snap-on, and I broke the 12, which I've also replaced with the snap-on. I've acquired more extensions, a lot, a lot of quarter-inch extensions for some reason. They were all in the van as well. Three eighths. I have a half-inch stuff here. Snap-on wobbles. I don't have the wobble pluses. I don't, I don't, I don't like them. Sue me. I don't care. Okay, so moving on to the wrench drawer. Uh, there's a couple new things here. Well, new to me. The layout is different here from the last time. Sort of. More or less over here. These, they're both gear wrench sets, but this has the flexing ratchet end, and these don't. Uh, these are slimmer too at the heads than they are on these, so they do come in handy, those guys, so I kept them. These are your snap-on, they're like inline cross foot, I don't know what the names are. These are hooks, tie rod adjustment, adjustments, uh, we don't use them here, obviously. I don't know what that is, I think that's for Chrysler, what are those called, the, the ones before the 300s, the L, the L something? I think that's for the rear adjustment or maybe that's a camber adjustment for for the old uh crown fix I, I i can't remember inner tie rod adapter tools this is the blue point inner tie rod tool that's just a cheater bar right there this guy i found in the van i'm not sure what that is multi-wrench it it's really flimsy i i'm pretty sure uh i'm pretty sure it's a gimmick but this guy I also found in the van. It's a long wrench, so I decided to keep it. It's a Craftsman. No, it's not a Craftsman. It's Forge USA. But I... Oh yeah, it is a Craftsman. No. See, it's hard to... to do this thing. The tour. That's why I always said um so many times. It's really difficult. This guy was also in the van. You guys know what Blackhawk is. I, I don't, to be honest, but uh, kept it because it's made in USA. A couple other guys. This is a Mac tool. Is this is this called a Moon Tier wrench? I think I, I could be wrong. Maybe I am. Probably am. But I decided to keep that guy as well. China, China, and uh, and these are. These are from Harbor Freight. I don't use them anymore, really. These are tools for your air tools, you know, like your sander, your die grinder, and all that. I just kept all those over here. KD slash gear wrench. Belt tool right there. Everyone has one. I hardly use it here. So my screwdriver door hasn't really changed all that much. I do have these new, well, I don't know if they're new. I gotta go back to the old tour, but these are cool. These are picks with the striking caps at the end by Mako. I always like those. Harbor Freight set of screwdrivers with the uh, striking cap at the end. The caps fall off. So, I mean, if you guys want a really cheapo set of those and don't care about the ends, those are the way to go. But, I mean, they've lasted me a good while. I don't really use them all that much. These are precision uh, screwdriver sets that I found somewhere, I think in a used car, and I just throw them in here. You know, nothing new over there. Same stuff, I just kind of throw it all back there, really, because I don't use it. My plier drawer hasn't really changed. I kind of broke stuff. These are the little Mako needle nose pliers. I got to get them warrantied out. Uh, we finally got a Mako guy. We didn't have one for a long time, so a lot of my Mako stuff have gotten neglected over over this time, but we have a, we have a guy now, and he's, he's doing a good job, so. I don't know if these were new or not, hog ring pliers, if you guys, if you guys do interior work. That's new. Oh, th this, I believe it's, clamp 
some type of uh, clamp, hose clamp pliers. I don't know if you guys see that or not. Yes. Hmm. So, as you know, I, I decided to keep all the made in USA stuff. If I, whatever I found in the van, if it was made in USA, I kept it. So yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, this drawer I didn't really know what to do with. I, I keep my pry bars there because they did not fit in the side cart there. But these are cool. These are my new um, drill bits. Let's see. Ah. There you go. High speed. You get to set your drill at, at a high speed, like it claims, and it won't burn tips like like on these I don't have a drill doctor I don't have anywhere to put it so I didn't get one of those just rando clamps really that's it there ain't nothing new here except for this guy I found this guy in the van too has a 3 8 N and it's super long kind of I guess like a breaker bar type of thing or maybe a belt tool even maybe it's a belt tool uh, that's it in there and then my impact drawer hasn't changed either. I did get a um, PT-80. Is that right? That's... It's a really, really good impact. I love it. If you guys had this blue point... Um, this blue point drill. Kind of... It kind of failed on me. Uh, I've had it for about eight years and the, the muffler or the exhaust just flume and it shot right out and it's so loud right now looking to get a new drill central pneumatic die die grinder <laughs> i've had this guy for almost 10 years it's still going i love it i'm not getting rid of it until it breaks on me uh, chicago pneumatic half inch half inch impact found in the van as well it's an old guy it's an old guy CP734 from Japon. So that's cool. That's why I capped it. My Mako impact though broke. So on the very back of the body, there's a crack right here. And the buttons just bloom and a shot right out. And because we didn't have a Mako guy around and my snap on dealer was there, got that guy. And then just a whole bunch of punches and adapters for the die grinder or sand sand wheels or whatnot hammers so the very last drawer it's all my molded cases tire repair kit coolant system tester astral uh, brake the rear caliber tool kit underneath of it is oh yeah I think maybe that's new no maybe not Thread chaser, snap on thread chaser. Uh, the Maco leak tester, the uh, head gasket tester stuff. Just rags on this side here. Spring compressor st stuff, some straps, snap on pulley, puller, which uh, is power steering cooler for Fords, which I've only used once ever. This thing down here is just a cheap uh, leak down tester. Pittsburgh 3 8 Torque wrench. Sucks. I think this is an astral flare tool. That sucks too. It's a Mako compression kit. Uh, one of the uh, hoses on that guy came without a freighter valve so I gotta get that fixed as well moving on personal effects and a lot of wheel lock keys that never went back into cars no big deal here everyone should have medicine headaches they suck especially when you're working on cars that do not cooperate so here is wiring repair 
I have all the the goods down here. It just made it easier to just have them all in there and then put this over top of it. I didn't know how else to organize it. One day, one day I will. But wiring repair stuff. And then this is the junk drawer, which is actually surprisingly organized. Bolts, clips, washers, whatever. It's all there. Uh, one day, my hope is to combine these two to have a four inch drawer and use it for spare stuff. I mean, that would be cool. But for now, I'm working with that. And then this is the last drawer here. My BG tips, a lot of paperwork, a lot of uh, propane torch. Uh, I don't have map, I don't have the map torch. Would love one, but I don't know. I don't really need it here. We have a torch. Uh, greasing stuff, glue. So this is really cool. The Loctite spray adhesive stuff for those droopy um, headliners. Some tacky little sealant stuff. That's all. That's it. And then the blue point cart I just have for spare parts. This is the box for the Ryobi impact that I did a video on. So this is more spare stuff for people to use in the shop. These are the things I'm not stingy with. <laughs> the rest of the stuff I am. But anybody can go here, use whatever they want. I mean, we're all in it. Might as well work together, right? And this is the U.S. General side cart in white. I like it in white. It's going to get dirty. But you know what you do with dirty stuff? You clean it. Decided to put swivel casters on all four corners. Maybe I'll post that video up. I did film the installation of it. but Or maybe I'll put something over here. Like a quick montage thing. Just go-to stuff. 19 and a 22 socket. Driver bits. This is a uh, <laughs> this is a driver bit set from Harbor Freight. It doesn't lock on my quarter inch driver. None of them do, but they're magnetic. So there's that. Just go to stuff really. Screwdrivers. These are the Maco magnetic trays that everyone has. Let's see now I gotta get used to this. Just go to brake measurement, sandpaper, stethoscope. So this drawer has my caliper tools. I decided not to put the, the dampers on the lid because I, just, I needed the open space. Plus I have this guy here. So it gives you a lot more workspace. That's what the cart is for. This extra workspace and a little bit of extra storage. I think this one's empty. Oh no, this is the rag that I used to, to clean the cart with. This is my electrical drawer. Got your strippers, your cutters, the fluke multimeter, 115.2 RMS. This is pretty rad. This is also this. This came with those. That's how I buy stuff. Came in a van. This is the PowerProbe 3S, I believe. It has a cooler display and it's green. Uh, it was kind of cool. It was on sale. I ended up selling my old PowerProbe. This is a, that jump box that I did the unboxing of back two years ago and it's still going. And I cannot for the life of me find this company cables. Wait, this is what I wanted to show you. So we hook this up to your DLC connection or your OBD, whatever you call it, and then you connect that to this. But I feel that has it's going to have too much juice, so I just use a memory saver. Magnetic leads. 
by Maco. Not by Maco. It's Lang, I think, who makes them. If you take that sticker off, it might actually say it in there. I'm not sure. But everyone has this stuff. A couple more leads. Testers. This is, uh, I don't use this anymore, but we used to, <laughs> we used to use it at Sears where we would test people's alternators like that. And, oh, hey, your your light's on, your light's red, so it's it's no good. So, I only use that really to test, to see if the aux, the, uh, so, uh, any cigarette lighters are working or not. And over here is my cordless uh, drawer, the Ryobi half inch. I don't really, I don't really like it, but I love this 3/8 Snap-on the CT. I forget the part number. Um, it's still going. I got the magnetic boots on there. Magnetic boot here. I got the new battery because this one crapped out, but it works for the light. So blue point. Tire, tire pressure adjuster. So this guy is Van Hoos, Van Housen. I I don't know. It's a um, it was a it was an Amazon deal, quarter inch. I really like this guy. It doesn't have much power, but it's hanging in there. I've had it for about a year and a half now, with no problems whatsoever. It's not as powerful as what people would want it to be, but I don't need it to be powerful. Again, it's just a convenient thing for me. Kind of like the Ryobi half-inch drive. I really didn't need it to be strong. I just needed it to work. And I got a couple hammers there. And on the side here, I have my go-to stuff. More magnetic trays, some bungee cords. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's it. That's the uh, updated toolbox tour. If you guys have any questions on anything that you saw today, leave the comments down below. I'll get to you. I'm not entirely busy right now. We're in slow season here at work, as of as is many of the me my fellow mechanics out there. I'll also be posting more content. As I mentioned earlier in the video, we've acquired a van. It's a 95 G20, and I want to do a van build series on it. If you guys are into that, uh, I will be posting van build content on this channel as well. Uh, I'll be featuring a lot of tools, so there's that too. I'm really excited. I'll try not to um so much, but I can't make any promises. It's, it's the jitters. I'm in front of the camera. Millions of people watching. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever, the, whatever everyone says. And I'll see y'all later. Mask up. See ya.